There are many things which can invalidate a carbon, make it puzzle. Some of them ruin the carbon so that it cannot be continuing to be brought. It's not a qualified carbon at all. Some of them make it a valid carbon, but it ruins its its um, accomplishment of the goal for the owner. The owner hasn't fulfilled his obligation or hasn't achieved his kapara, but the carbon itself is still valid. Now, there are three general categories of invalidations. One is problems with the person who's doing the avoda. Another is a problem with the animal that's being offered. And the third is problem with the kavana, the intent that the person had while he was performing some of the actual avodas. So disqualifications of the person are anybody, any avoda which is performed by someone who's not qualified. In order to be qualified, it has to be a kohen, male, adult, no mum, with a bris mila, cannot be tame, cannot be in mourning, in onain, has to wash his hands and his feet, with water from the kiar, and he has to be wearing the big day kahuna. His feet have to be on the ground of the temple. He has to be standing. He's got to use his right hand, um, and he cannot have drunk any wine or have too long hair or have any other psalm. These are the general psalm of the kohanim who do the avoda. Now, the animals, it has to be the qualified animal. It has to be the right animal for the right carbon. It has to be lacking any mum. It can't have any blemish, and it can't have been used in any avera or disgusting act such as about Zara, killing a person, immorality, or being exchanged for the sale of a dog or a zona, any of these things will invalidate the animal. Now, the most, the most common, most applicable, and most complex category of psulim is kavana. That's if the avoda of the blood, one of the four blood avodas, the shechita, the slaughter, the Kabbalah, the accepting, the catching of the blood, the halacha, carrying it to the Mizbech or the Zrika, applying it on the wall. If any of these were done with improper intent, that is a psal. Um, and here are what some of the psalm are. First of all, if it was not, if it was performed with the wrong type of carbon in mind, like if it was supposed to be a carbon O instead, you had in mind that it's going to be a chatas or a shlamim or something like that, that is a soul for the owner. It doesn't fulfill the purpose. The carbon is not fulfilled. It still, however, works. It is the type of carbon that you had in mind that it should be, but that's not what the owner needed to bring, and therefore he didn't get his job, right? Also, if it was you had in mind for the wrong person, so again, the carbon's okay, but um, uh, it doesn't fulfill the purpose for the owner. Carbon Pesach is an exception for these two. You have to have in mind it cannot be used it does not, it's, it's an invalid carbon altogether if you didn't have in mind that it's a carbon Pesach. Now, two of the most severe psalm are Chutz and Chutz Komo. That means at the time that the person slaughtered it, the Kohen had in mind that it should be eaten either by Kohanim or the owner or the Mizbeach outside its proper time. It means after the time it's meant to be eaten or outside its proper place uh, if it's supposed to be in the... Uh, Azara, for example, Kachay Kachem, if he has in mind to eat it outside of that. This is very severe. It ruins the carbon. It cannot be completed. It cannot be eaten. It could even be curious to eat it. It could make it pigle, which is a very high level. So this is a very severe problem. Now, uh, if you had in mind that it'll be eaten by somebody who's not supposed to eat it, that's also a serious psal. Um, that's uh, unique to carbon Pesach, it has to, you have to have in mind that the right people are going to eat it. Um, somebody who's not registered to it cannot eat it. Somebody who doesn't have a uh, bris mila cannot eat it. Somebody who's not Jewish, somebody who's tame cannot eat it. All these things ruin uh, carbonos, and carbon Pesach has this requirement. Now, once Shechita has been performed, there's a higher level Kedusha on the Karbonos, and there are three additional Psulim that apply. That is Yotze, if it goes out of where it's supposed to be, if it becomes Tame, or if it is left over past its proper time. These are three special invalidations that apply if any of these happen to the blood, to the parts that go on the Mizbeach, or to the general meat. This generally doesn't ruin the whole carbon, just the part that went out or was left over or become teme shouldn't ruin the rest of it. And now another type of soul, of course, is if the vote is not done correctly, if it's put in the wrong place, put on the mizbeach wrongly, shechted wrongly, all of these things mess it up.